Welcome back, everyone. I'm joined by Greg Remingay for some more free legal advice, and thanks for coming in once Thank again, you. Greg. And uh, what are we talking about today? I know last week we were talking about uh, mediator mediation through right. the uh, through the uh, after an accident uh, period. So, are we continuing on that today? Well, we're going to continue to the next phase. Okay. We've gone to mediation. Obviously, if you settle your case at mediation, everything's over. Right. <laughs> you don't need to do anything more. Everybody has a settlement. Mm -hmm. If you don't settle your case at mediation, that means we're on to trial. Okay. What does going to trial entail? What does it mean? Well, the main thing that we have to think about is going to trial is creating a story. Okay. Your attorney has to create a story that is going to keep the jury interested, mm -hmm. get the information to the jury that the jury needs, okay. and not bore them. Right. <laughs> and so there's kind of a fine line with a lot of this stuff. Okay. Do we start with the plaintiff? Mm. What if the plaintiff isn't a very good talker? What yeah. if the plaintiff is not very believable? Mm. Who are we going to start with? Obviously, we have to work the plaintiff in somewhere, but where do we work them in? Mm -hmm. Do we start with the doctor? Do we really want to give the jury all the doctor terminology <laughs> before the doctor before the jury has had a chance to see what the accident's about. Right. Yeah. That, I mean, that's it a decision. Yeah, yeah. And then there's the exhibits. Which exhibit are we going to get in with which witness? Mm -hmm. We need to get the exhibits in. Do we want to leave out some of the exhibits? Do we want to get them all in? All of these things are factors that we have to consider and take a long time to develop a good story. Mm. Some of the exhibits that create problems Maybe there's an exhibit, a medical record, that totally disagrees with your theory. Yeah. <laughs> do we skip putting that in at all? Mm. If we do, the defense is going to raise that as an issue and right. say, <laughs> you guys are trying to ignore it. Mm. Do we try to slip it in and just kind of bypass it and then say we've done it? Right. Or do we spend a bunch of time and say, here's why this exhibit needs to come in, mm. but why it's wrong? And we get the doctor to explain it, and we get all those things happening okay. before we get the exhibit in. Right. But really, the whole situation is trying to weave a story, get all the facts into the jury. We have to prove certain things. We have a burden of proof on several items. <laughs> yeah. How do we get all that information in? Mm -hmm. How do we make sure that that information is heard by the jury and not lost in all the other information? Right. And how do we emphasize the things that we want to and de-emphasize the thing that the defense is going to do. Okay. So that includes all your witnesses, mm -hmm. ex expert witnesses and exhibits, arranging them, moving <laughs> them around, yeah. putting them in a certain order so that we can create this story. Okay, awesome. So that's an entirely different process to uh, go through after if mediation fails. So uh, thank you for explaining thank that. You. And uh, any information you'd like to uh, uh, get in touch with Greg, there's all, uh, all of his uh, contact uh, information right there on your screen. Greg, thank you again thank for you. coming in. Very interesting, as always. And uh, stick with us. I'll have your weather coming up next.